Hi guys, welcome to today's daily devotional. The theme is equipped to serve. Equipped to serve. Now, the memory verse is taken from the book of Exodus 35.5. Exodus 35.5, which says, Take ye among you an offering unto the Lord. Whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it. An offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass. Exodus 35, 5. The Bible reading is taken from the book of Exodus 25, 1 to 9. Exodus 25, 1 to 9, which says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they bring me an offering. Of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart, ye shall take my offering. And this is the offering which ye shall take of them gold and silver and brass and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and ram skins dyed red and badger skins and shittim wood oil for the light spices for anointing oil and for sweet incense onyx stones and stones to be set in the effort and in the breastplate and let them make me a sanctuary that i may dwell among them according to all that i shew thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. Let's go to the message. God invested two major attributes in man, namely created him in his image and making him Lord over the universe. God thus prepared man to occupy the position of a junior partner with him, giving him the authority to name all creatures as seen in Genesis 2.19, which says, And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was named thereof. The scripture above shows clearly that God had, from the beginning of time, charged man with the responsibility of overseeing his creation. I pray that from now you will live according to God's expectations of you. In Jesus' name, amen. In today's Bible reading, the Lord commanded Moses to take offerings from the children of Israel for the building of the tabernacle. God is still making demands on, on us, ordered, sorry, is still making demands on us, his children, by faith for his projects. It is left for us to respond accordingly to the ability God gives us. One other truth we must learn from the story of the children of Israel is that everything God demanded from them had already been provided for by God himself. When the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, they got so much treasure from the, from, from the Egyptians that the Bible says the Israelites spoiled them. Exodus 12, 35-36 says, And the children of Israel, Israel did according to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required, and they spoiled the Egyptians. Whatever blessing we have is primarily for kingdom projects, including our intellectual physical and spiritual capabilities. The Lord endowed Queen Esther with such irresistible beauty and wisdom that she was the choice of the king and later become the mouthpiece of her people, which are the Jews, for deliverance from the hatred of Haman. Find out the areas in which God's projects need your urgent attention. Go ahead and meet those needs. God bless you as you do so. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go to the prayer point which says, Father, please help me to use everything you have given me to serve you diligently now and always. In Jesus' name, pray with me. Father, please help me to use everything you have given me to serve you diligently now and always. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. In Jesus' name, amen.